And Norman, this actually relates to a story we ran a few months ago on an under-recognised cause of high blood pressure called primary aldosteronism. Yep, it's easy to test for, but not often looked for. And it makes people highly sensitive to salt and far more vulnerable to heart and kidney damage for any given level of blood pressure. Yeah, exactly. And one person who was listening when we did that story was Pam. She took herself off to her doctor to ask them to test her for it. And I've been chatting to her about what happened next. Last year, I was keenly listening, as I always do, to the health report. And Norman was interviewing Dr. June Young, who was talking about something I'd never heard of before, primary allosterianism, and pointed out that it was vastly underdiagnosed and that there are a few key risk factors in association with high blood pressure that people should be aware of and get checked out. And I followed that advice because only six months before, my blood pressure had started to go up from a very low level to, you know, a moderate level, and I was alarmed. And it wasn't high enough for any doctor to be at all concerned. But for me, it was high, much higher than I'm used to running. And because I had some of the other risk factors, I pursued the diagnosis. You happy to talk about what the other risk factors might be? Some of them are a little bit kind of loose in terms of, you know, general anxiety. And I've never been an anxious person before. But the key one was in a workup to look at some other health issue, they found adrenal incidentaloma, which is a word for, you know, finding a small tumour on the adrenal gland that um, doesn't seem to be causing any problem. But it might have been. Yes, yes. With PA, primary aldosteronism, the sort of two causes, one is an adrenal tumour that's causing way too much of the hormone aldosterone and the other is both adrenals might be affected with just lots of cells producing lots. So it's one of the critical things to get sorted because if you've just got a tumour and it's one-sided, then you can have that tumour removed and you're cured for life, basically. Whereas if it's both adrenal glands are effective, then you just need to take medication. This whole disorder, PA, it was thought to be quite rare. And now, you know, they know that it's actually not rare. It's one in 17 adults in the population have got this disorder. But less than 1% of people with it have been ever diagnosed. You're not your own doctor, but when you're talking to your doctors, what do they sort of tell you would have happened to you if you hadn't been quick off the mark and had this looked at? Yeah, so this is really critical because... Not only does you know high blood pressure cause a, a raft of problems, but even if the blood pressure is reasonably well controlled, but the background aldosterone isn't, that causes other problems. So that can affect the heart independently, it can affect the kidneys, it can cause stroke. So it's you know really vitally important that people do get diagnosed so they don't have these long-term health outcomes. So what was going through your mind at that moment? It was more like, here we go again. Here's another little rare disorder to add to my list. Oh, have you got a couple? (laughs) Oh, God, yeah. I have acromegaly, which is caused by a pituitary tumour. And I'm pretty sure I got that scene too because I'd heard Norman talk about (laughs) that really seriously. (laughs) Uh, Your personal family doctor, Dr Norman Swan. That's right. (laughs) Coming back to this sort of particular ailment, what was the intervention for you for the PA? So I've chosen just to go down the medical route. So I'm just taking a drug that's a, a diuretic, but it has a very strong effect on suppressing the aldosterone. You know, it's very effective. And the research shows that if you do use it appropriately, then your risk of any long-term damage is, you know, almost brought back to zero. That's Pam there. Norman, I hope you're bulk billing her for all this (laughs) medical advice. If only she knew that all I know about is children. (laughs) Yeah, thanks.